Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the Maxine Company hair. Isn't it so beautiful? Yes, it can be dyed. Lace closure and bundles by Maxine Hair Company. And now let's begin the tutorial. I am actually sewing down the closure. The knots are bleached and the hair is, as you see, it is dyed. Okay, if you would like a tutorial on how I dyed this hair, please let me know. I'm just starting to um, sew the hair in, as you see. after this hair was dyed it was still soft yes you guys still soft How the hair looks. Doesn't it look beautiful? Yes, it does. Okay, right here, you know how you double it, but what I do is I start doubling it, but I actually single it while it's in the place of doubling. Um, I hope you can understand what I'm saying. <laughs> so instead of me taking two tracks and sewing it together, I actually take one track and sew it on and then take that other one on top and sew it on. I hope you can understand me. Okay, right here where I was telling you. Okay, now usually we'll take two like I'm doing now and double it. Now see, this is doubling okay now what I did is instead of doubling on the on the right I singled it so when I end up on my left I can go ahead and double it because her her edges are very fine so I want that weight more on her edges of her hair and not in like in her back okay right here I'm showing you that you can't even tell that it is a closure up there we know how some videos or sometimes you sew in you can see that line of demarcation of um the lace closure and the bundle right here you can not even detect that it is a closure on top you guys this is how i do all of my sewing i don't want the wind to blow and you see your closure and your bundles no right here i'm showing you how i have it more finder in her middle okay because i don't want her middle of her head to be so heavy i would like all that weight on her sides of her hair because she's kind of very fine her hair is very fine okay i'm actually showing you now how her knots are bleached and it looks great Yes, looks like scap, you guys, looks like scap. Okay, right here. Remember I told you her edges are fine. What I did is, where I um did her, oh my God. <laughs> 
did her um sew in I did not want her um her thread to be showing so what I did is I'm taking the the crochet needle and pulling some hair through and as you see now it looks like it's hair on the edges of her hair because remember she has fine hair and when someone has fine hair you really don't have hair a lot of hair to really be um, putting you know tracks on so I didn't want to um, put tension on her edges so I decided to have that closure part to um, kind of connect and use the thread as a weft. And now all I'm doing is pulling the, cro the crochet needle through and pulling that hair that she has from her bundles and closure together. And you will see that how it looks very nice. So if the wind blows, you would not see her edges. You will actually see the hair okay this is the finished product you guys finished product it looks very natural it looks beautiful okay if your client has thinning edges you see what I'm saying right there you can't even see it that her edges are thin, just beautiful.